Hello YouTube. Look at this little beauty. This is the new Triumph Street Cup. Yes, it's uh, one of the other new additions to the Bonneville Street range. This, of course, as uh, all the others, is based on the Street Twin, the 900 high torque engine. This is their cafe racer styled machine. So yeah, very nice, especially in this yellow colour, this yellow and silver colour. Very pretty. And of course, as with all the other bikes in the street range, it is of course A2 license friendly. Or it is with the appropriate uh, restriction fitted. Uh, but yeah, if you've got an A2 license, uh, you'll be able to buy one of these and ride it, of course. So, this is it. Let's have a closer look at things. We'll start off as we normally do with the display and clocks. Uh, now this one is uh, like the T120, T100 uh, and the Thruxton, the uh, dual clocks with the uh, brushed aluminium effect there, uh, which quite suits it on this bike. So we've got a gear indicator, various things from the information button on the handlebars, uh, traction control, we can turn that on and off, odometer, two trip counters as usual, real-time miles per gallon, average miles per gallon, and a clock. There we go. And then over here, this is where the uh, fuel gauge is on this one, over on the rev counter. Uh, so yeah, we've got half a tank of fuel there with a range of 56 miles left. Uh, controls are pretty much the same as uh, the other ones in the range. Uh, I've got the information button there, which we've just cycled through. Uh, the indicator's there. Now, uh, this one has, um, unlike the T100 which and the bobber, which has like a pointy bit, this is the other way. It's uh, kind of flattened off and indented. That's, uh, that's better, in my opinion. And then you've got the horn as well. <laughs> Usual stuff. And uh, high beam, low beam. Same as before. Single click to uh, turn high beam on and a click again to turn it off. And a double tap for a flash. You've got these nice sort of low down handlebars as uh, per usual cafe racer style. Uh, same again, integrated kill switch and ignition switch and hazard lights under there. And uh, yet again, normal bulb indicators on this one and uh, bulb headlight, of course. Single front brake disc, but because uh, of the weight of this thing, uh, that's perfectly adequate enough. Uh, you get a nice little fly screen like on this one. Very nice. Gosh, it's quite windy today, so I apologise if uh, the sound's a little bit bad. And of course the usual styling that we're all familiar with on uh, the Bonneville range. All the same sort of stuff, really. The back end here is quite uh, quite nice, actually. I don't think that... Actually, no. I've changed... No. <laughs> yes, a tail tidy would be better, actually. Uh, sticking everything all just under the seat there. I think that might be uh, a little bit better. Something I'd probably do if I had one, of course. Uh, around the rims you've got that nice yellow trim there, that suits quite well with this colour. LED rear brake lights, uh, bulb indicators as per the front. So there we go. God, it's windy. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, let's do the... Uh, let's let you have a listen. Now I believe these are the stock pipes. And uh, for stock, they're not too bad sounding actually. So there we go, let's go ride. So yeah, same features on this as per the Street Twin, T100, etc. Slip assist clutch, ride by wire throttle. That clutch is, again, super light, very easy. Now on this one you got the bar end mirrors, which uh, they're pretty easy to adjust, easy to move them into position. They've got a good view from them, they are quite large. Um, Probably a bit large for my liking. I would sooner have some ones a little bit smaller, uh, maybe ones that go flip the other way rather than sticking out that way. But that's just my personal preference, of course. In fact, I wonder if you can twist them over. I wonder if they do twist. Yes, they do. They they can twist inwards. Uh, so yeah, you could have them that way round if you wanted to. Whether it looks right or not, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's durable. Didn't need to put foot down there, it's quite well balanced. It is, like the others in the range, it is really easy to ride, really. Yeah, the light clutch, the weight distribution, centre of gravity and all that lot.
and like the street twin and all that lot it's got a lot of torque and it zips away it zips away beautifully now with this being a cafe racer style uh, the position is a little bit more lean forward it's not uh, as aggressive as I thought it may have been uh, it's, like, it's like the Thruxton actually the Thruxton wasn't as lean forward as you might expect uh, it's it's not too bad. I mean, I don't really get on too much with things that are too for, too far forward. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is all right. In fact, the seating position of this is not a million miles away from uh, how my GPZ feels. It's all very uh, very similar. So it's not too uncomfortable. I can feel the uh, a bit of pressure on my wrists, and uh, the seat itself uh, feels quite soft. I think that'll be uh, quite comfortable for. Uh, longer rides right should we do a quick brake test around this corner nothing behind me there's no reason why this should be any different to the t100 and such Whee, yes nicely done does that well yeah brakes feel good it's doing quite well on this road this is uh, a fairly bumpy road and it is, it's uh, kind of floating over the, uh, over the bumps. Oh, that's a nice bend. <laughs> yeah, you can't fault the handling on this at all, really. Does it all really well. So this is a super fun bike. And it's plenty quick enough. And yeah, yeah with that torque, you can just make so easy overtakes, like so. And it's away. Now it's not as quick or as fun as the Thruxton R, of course. Obviously, if you are looking for performance uh, from a, like a cafe racer sort of thing, then it'll be the uh, the Thruxton R that you want to be looking at. But if things like the Thruxton R and the uh, T120, for example, are probably a little bit much than what you need, then uh, but you want something a bit sporty then uh, th this is a good one to look at. So to summarise, uh, basically be this is the same as the T100 effectively, apart from the styling and the different bars and things like that. Uh, it is a lot more fun than the T100, although it's the same same engine, same power and torque, etc. Uh, it's just the way that it rides. Uh, it is more fun because you've got that sportier sort of position and things uh, it does feel faster than what the T100 and Street Twin is and it's not too uncomfortable either since you've got the more uh, aggressive riding position on this it's not bad at all but yeah the actual uh, the seat's comfortable my arse isn't numb and I've had a really good time on it and as with the rest of the street range, you've got loads of uh, customization options. So you can uh, sort of make it a bit more to your styling. But no, I'll, I'll be quite happy with one of these. It's not quite my style. Um, but yeah, it's certainly been a really enjoyable ride on this. 
I would highly recommend taking one out for a test ride if you're uh, in the market for this sort of thing. Uh, I'd also recommend trying either the uh, T100 or Street Twin just to uh, see how it compares to that style, uh, or even the Scrambler. Yeah, give them all. Just the, the best thing you can do is test ride as many, many things as you can, and uh, you will find the bike you're looking for. Anyway, that's been the Triumph Bonneville Street Cup. Thank you very much for watching. Ride safe, and I'll see you on the next one.